One of them is uh, the linear Boltzmann transport formalism, and the other one is, is Martini, which I will talk about in a second. So let's start with LVT there. Essentially, what, you, what we are assuming is that uh, the particles are, are, are on shell or nearly on shell. Uh, and, 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 and there you have the, the, the high, high energy. So um, basically what you're trying to solve here is that you're trying to solve the Boltzmann, the Boltzmann equation, okay? Uh, well, F here is the distribution, and is the phase space distribution of your partons, okay? So the phase space distribution of your partons is modified by elastic scattering as well as radiations. So this elastic piece was already actually discussed yesterday uh, by, by Dima, in the, and, and this is what essentially the uh, uh, SMASH has, but it, it has it in the hadronic sector, uh, but the same sort of ideas apply here on the protonic sector. So let me start by talking about what is happening uh, first on the elastic uh, piece before I talk about the inelastic piece. So in the, in, in the elastic piece, basically what you have is uh, you have a whole bunch of matrix elements. Uh, where one of these guys is going to be in, in, in the, the quark gluon plasma. Let's say it's the guy on the bottom. And uh, one of these guys up above here is the, is the, is the guy on the, that, that is present in the shower. Okay? So you would have um, all these three channels that are possible in, in, in two to two collisions. And of course, uh, the, the, um, the scattering partners can be both quarks, but also gluons, right? So in principle, you would have 12 diagrams that are possible. Okay? And, and the idea is that you are essentially literally solving the Boltzmann equation by integrating the matrix elements uh, uh, with these distribution functions. Okay. Uh, the inelastic uh, uh, piece is essentially, uh, or the radiation piece is essentially going to be a medium induced stimulated emission. Okay. And that, of course, in the case of, uh, uh, of LBT, what you can use is that you can use the, the modified splitting function that we have already discussed. But only, of course, the, the medium piece because this is stimulated emission, right? So it's because you have a presence of the medium that you're stimulating the extra emission. So therefore, you're only interested in this part of the splitting function, not the other one, right? Because the other one is in the vacuum. Okay. So these are two essentially, uh, these are two essential ingredients that uh, enter into uh, LVT. Now, in the case of Martini, uh, we, we also have the same two to two scatterings. However, Martini so essentially goes a step further than LVT and not only takes into account incoherent scatterings or in incoherent emissions, okay? Uh, but what I mean by incoherent emissions is basically that an emission which um, has, okay, so let's, let's say you have a bunch of scatterings as, as illustrated over here and somewhere in the middle, you have a radiation, okay? And you want to uh, take the matrix element of the possibility of having a radiation over here and a radiation over there, okay? So if you are in the limit of incoherent emission, then the interference term between these two uh, 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 radiations is essentially small. So the phase between, between, between these two radiations is, 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 uh, is, is large. And therefore the interference term is essentially, you can neglect the interference term between these diagrams and you can really just split them up into uh, a simple uh, one to two or two to three as well as two to two scatterings, okay? In, the, in this uh, uh, approximation where you have an incoherent emission, okay? Uh, and then you can use the usual, uh, the, the, the matrix elements as already described. However, um, this is essentially, so this incoherent approximation, I forgot to mention, this incoherent approximation uh, is, uh, is happens when you really have either large angle or, or, or large energy radiation that is present in these, in these uh, uh, radiations here. However, if you have uh, a guy that is radiated at a very, very small angle or a guy that has a very, very small energy or virtuality for that matter, um, if that happens, then it's a question of whether or not the medium can, can resolve uh, the fact that you had a split or not, okay? And in, in that approximation, actually, then the, the interference terms actually become very important, okay? Because you have essentially a small phase change between, between these radiations, okay? And uh, ultimately, if you sit down and then do the calculation, what you end up realizing is that you would actually have a destructive interference 
that is happening between these between these uh, uh, these types of diagrams, which uh, will ultimately lead to a reduction in the radiation. Okay. So uh, this, is, as, as I already mentioned, happens when you have a small anger or small energy radiation, okay? So because, because you, have, you, you have this destructive interference, now you have to be a lot more careful and you now have to sum up a whole uh, a ladder of diagrams that all sort of uh, have a, a relatively small phase change. And in the summing, you, you, really, you really want to take care of the phase between uh, the, the individual scatterings, okay? And uh, th there's a procedure to do that. Uh, it's called a lando pomerantic migdal resummation. And Martini actually also takes into account this uh, LPM effect, okay? So another way to, 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 uh, to see it is essentially that in the LPM effect, not only does the, uh, the, does the, the, do you have to worry about multiple uh, uh, scatterings on the parent side, but you also have to worry about multiple scatterings affecting your radiation as well, okay? So both the, the radiated gluon and of, of course the radiated, uh, uh, the, the resulting quark, okay? So you need to essentially uh, uh, really sum up all of this ladder of diagrams, okay? And uh, this was actually done uh, by Arnold Moore and Yaffe and, and these three sets of papers where they really sat down and careful, carefully resummed all of those uh, um, radiations and uh, came up with a radiation rate that is given down below here, okay? So, um, okay, so now that we, now, now essentially all of the pieces are at hand, right? The two to two scatterings that we have are, are the same as um, in both uh, Ma Martini and, and LDT, whereas the one to two uh, uh, splittings are sort of treated differently in one case and in the other, so in, in, in LDT, uh, uh, we're, we're, we just have this single radiation, and in Martini, we actually are resumming a whole set of diagrams that are contributing to this LPM effect. Okay, so let me quickly go over uh, as to how these uh, radiations are implemented inside of uh, the, the the framework. So what you essentially do is is that uh, for both of these uh, leading order uh, uh, two to two scatterings, you can use the leading order rates. Okay, and if you uh, multiply them by a small enough delta time, you can essentially say that in, in, in that small enough delta t, uh, th that essentially gives you what the probability is that you have uh, scattering, okay? As far as radiation is concerned, you essentially are using the rates that are presented over here. So for, for instance, for, for uh, uh, Martini, you would use this rate over here, you would multiply by a small delta t, and that gives you the probability of uh, creating a, a radiation. So once that was, since you have the rates and you have the probabilities, you can really implement them in, into a Monte Carlo algorithm and you can ask on a parton by parton level, okay, what is, the, what, is the, what is the energy? What is the virtuality of this parton that is coming in? Okay, with this energy and vir this virtuality, what is the probability of a scattering? And then because these rates here are also uh, momentum dependent or energy dependent rather, uh, it's both really, um, you can ask the question, okay, if the probability, I have a probability of radiating or if I have a probability of scattering, what is the, the energy or, the, or, or, the, or the, um, the momentum of either the outgoing guy or the scattering partner? Uh, doesn't really matter because you have energy momentum conservation that you can, that you can use to figure out what, the, what, the, um, what, what all of the, the, the four partons are in the, in the vertex or the three partons if you have a split, okay? So this is essentially what is implemented in, in uh, both Martini and, and, and in LBT, okay? So uh, this sort of uh, brings to a close